12 championship game. Nothing's happened. They've just kicked off. Let's join Brent Musburger. Well, we welcome the rest of you to the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship. I'm Brett Musburger with Dan Bouts and Jack Aroot. You missed one series of three and out for Texas A&M. And now Nebraska with Scott Frost at the controls. Their first series of the game. Great field position, too, for Nebraska, but that's their norm. McAvicka and Green. The option look and Frost late pitch to Amon Green who steps out of bounds and we Frost the quarterback. Amon Green has rushed for 19 touchdowns and of course he's got an excellent blocking core of receivers. The one thing about Nebraska receivers they will block downfield. And there is Aaron Taylor All-American center a year ago and an All-American guard this season. Bobby Newcomb. On the field is a wide receiver. The option in that direction, and Frost again pitches out to Green, and he pounds to the 46-yard line. This is an undersized defensive line. Brad Crowley going to have to play very big today. The linebackers, that win, three straight years, leading the Aggies in tackles, and Shun Horn coming off a monster game, 13 tackles against the Horns a week ago. Third down and one. The toss to Green. Looks for the hole. He's hit, but I believe he reached out for the first down. So, eyes the defense. The delay with Green. They pull the left side of the line. And Green to the 44 yard line for a couple of yards. Matt Davison, the freshman, stretched wide to the right. Nebraska runs to the short side, and nothing doing for Green. Outs and a shotgun look here for Frost. His first pass of the game, left side, diving reception for a first down at the 31-yard line. The ball is at the Aggies' 31-yard line. In the round, Newcomb cutting back to the left. He's got an alley frost. So it's a beautiful block. Oh, what a crushing block by the quarterback. And Newcomb is out of bounds at the six-yard line. First and goal. The power look, and now Frost cuts back, and he goes for the end zone in the game's first touchdown. Frost is determined to demonstrate that he's not a third-string all-conference quarterback. He's much better than that. Brown pounds the extra point perfectly. First series of the game for Tom Osborne, and they send up the red warning flags. This is not Texas all over again. We are determined to get a shot at a title this year. We'll be right back. Hey, you know where to start. He's an athlete, folks. They should have a special spot on the first team here at the Big 12 this year. Dante Hall can bring this one out to the goal line. 15 cuts back to the 22-yard line. It was a far more orderly practice than a year ago in St. Louis. Dante Hall, the running back, and Stewart will show the shotgun work this time. Deflected, incomplete. That's Sir Parker as A&M goes empty in that backfield. He's a very good receiver along with the running back. Stewart looks long and they try to get him down on that far sideline, incomplete. Double covered. It's a slot to the right. So the all-out passing game certainly hasn't worked. They'll come back with the inside game with Parker. It's ready for his next series. And Leckler wails on this one. Newcomb from the 21 yard line. 30. Sprints to the left. He's dangerous. Tries to cut back down to the right. Gave up a couple of yards. Not a wise final move. And he is now at the 34. The worst and 10 for the Huskers. Up by a touchdown. Frost brings the option to the wide side. Puts it into Green's hands. And Green with an alley out to the 49 yard line. First down. Just shy of the 50 yard line. Here comes Green with that fake to Newcomb, and he keeps it around the left side this time, and he is pushed out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Second and four for the Huskers as a result. Line Green slashes through to the 40 for a first down. This may wind up being a showcase afternoon for the Cornhuskers, and Frost is going to pull it back out off the option. Good on sideline. Newcomb got it. 15-yard line. Out of bounds. I've seen Nebraska several times this year, but I have never seen them any more focused than they are right now. Stepping back on the Don't inside with Joel McAvicka. Second and nine from the shotgun inside shovel pass to Amon Green, who's inside the 10-yard line. 
up at Makovica in front of Amon Green. Amon running so smoothly. Makovica straight ahead. And Amon Green and Frost working to the right side. And Frost is down at the 10 yard line. Chris Brown enjoying another banner season. He's 14 of 17 kicking field goals along with 46. That came last week up in Boulder against Colorado. So he nails number 15 of the season. He's 15 of 18 on the 27 yarder to make it 10 to nothing. The Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship being led by Nebraska. Easy what can happen in 12 months. So I guess uh, Dan Fouts and Mac Brown made out pretty good, huh? <laughs> that day all. Well, let this go down. He'll take Colorado State. Sir Parker, the running back here for Texas A&M. Maybe they'll go back and try the muscle game. Here's Parker cut off. Nothing doing this time. That aggressive. Yeah, one of the reasons why they succeed. And Stewart with a fake goes downfield incomplete. They'll give him the shotgun and hope that the offensive line and Boyles can hold out the rushman. They double team Wistrom with Boyles, throw downfield incomplete. Diving. And Leckler backed up inside the five. And Newcomb drifts back. Didn't give him two yards. Here comes the flag. He's going to get more than that. 35 40, 45 50. Look out, Newcomb to the 36 yard line after he was mauled. The option. Here comes Frost. He's going to keep it. Big game. 20 50. Cut left. Down at the 10 yard line from behind. It's off to the right for Frost. Vicka is straight ahead for a yard. And he has some of the finest athletes in the game. Second down at nine, and now here's Frost. Here's that pitch. He tries to square up and get downfield, north and south, and nothing doing that time. Seven Wiggins. The field is a wide out. That option look, but Amon's in front of him, and Frost is going down, scrambled his way to about the eight yard line. 26 yard field goal attempt. Ted Bretzlaff, the holder. And Chris pulls this one through. Two field goals, one touchdown. They've scored each time they've handled the ball, but the little nod of the head there would indicate that Coach Osborne is wishing for touchdowns and not field goals. He handed them on the back, but he made it a point to speak to each player. They're allowed to bring 66 on the road to this game. Fielded at the four-yard line is Hall again. And he is down just short of the 20-yard line. Dante Hall, the running back. The Huskers show blitz on the outside. Good block. Warfield comes up. Warfield is playing more aggressively. But the uh, Buffalo's back in that one. Second and nine. Foreman blitzing. Picked up. Then they come late. And it's picked off. Pressure on the quarterback. Interception at the 16-yard line as Ralph Brown. It's first down and 10. Nebraska up by 13 points. Still in the first quarter. I'm on green. Stop. And the. Now Frost. They fake. Dropped. Third and 12, and it'll be the shotgun look for Frost. It's plenty of time. He's going to swing it out to green. Short of the first down, and it's another field goal opportunity. 31 yard attempt. Brett's left the holder. Such smooth form as he puts another one through. Almost automatic for Coach Osborne of the Huskers this year. And that's going to bring us to the end of the first quarter. Our presentation of the uh, Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship continues after this message as Nebraska dominates Texas A&M and leads our Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship 16-0. Brown continuing to bury the pull to that. So Hardeman, Tiki Hardeman, is in there with Parker. We're going to show the eye and see what happens here with Parker as he slashes on a cutback second end eight. down by three of the and the RC Slocum needs to get a first down 
third down and six. Aggies haven't had a first down in this game yet. High reaching grab. That's short of the first down. Stands back on his own 26 yard line. He could give Nebraska a good field position again. Fair catch by one of the short men. What a day he's having also. Scott Frost, the trigger man. Mon Green, big hole, left side. Plows to the 42 yard line. He's the eye back. The toss to the short side, number 30 squares it up and smashes for the first down. Their own 49-yard line, up 16, and Frost gonna throw it downfield in the middle. Got a man tight in at the 25-yard line. 6'4, 220. First and 10 from the 25. There's the option. Frost gonna keep it now. A late pitch. Amon Green's gone. Touchdown as he reached for the corner. Did he get it? He may have been out at the one. May not have got the pylon. Knock the official out of the way. He got the pylon, but his knee, I believe, brushed out of bounds as he hit it. Let's see what they're deciding here. No, they have changed it. It is a touchdown, Brent. But the official that was closest never saw it. I guarantee Absolutely. you that. Absolutely. Brown adds the extra point for the Cornhuskers. You know it's all work in your favor when the quarterback can come down the line of scrimmage, gain five or six yards by himself, and then pitch it to his tailback. No, nah, watch this the leg. The watch the knee from that other angle. That leg is down, out of bounds. That knee is down right there. That is not a touchdown. Oh, well. Does anybody think they would have stopped them from the one? <laughs> Not me, folks. 23 zip. We'll be right back. Tumble there. Ooh, wiped out on the play. Dante Hall backed up in the end zone. And we short of the 20. He is down, out of bounds, but so be it. Here is Sir Parker. Stewart throws into the middle. And a foot race with Derek Spiller, the talented tight end. 35, Warfield with the angle, pushes him out of bounds at the 22-yard line. There, Stewart at the line of scrimmage. Still 11 minutes here in the first half. Tiki Hardeman in as the running back along with Parker. Second down and nine. Here's the toss. Parker, nifty, elusive runner going no place. But he was unblockable against the Buffaloes. Steve Warren replaces him in the defensive line. Stewart on a play fake gets no time at all. Completed the pass. Kyle Bryant, like his counterpart in Nebraska, enjoying a good season. This a 32-yard field goal. Trying to put the Aggies on the board here in the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship game. And he does just that. <laughs> 23 3. Nebraska. It's defensive line. High short kickoff. Wiggins. Four-yard line. Option. Wide side. Eight pitch to Amon Green. Pushed out of bounds. We'll see what he finally chooses. I'd like to see kickers relax, folks. Frost pulls out. Fires back. Wide open is Brown. Oh, he was all alone in the secondary. Out of bounds. Easy to be accurate when you don't, don't have that pressure back there. Here's Amon, he's bottled up at the line of scrimmage for the Huskers. Frost rolls right, wide open again. There's Davis in the freshman going down at the 20-yard line to pick up a five. Had a knee problem, he's wearing a heavy brace. Underneath, back to pick the fullback, first down and still battling his way. There's your former walk-on. The gate replaces him. Two fullbacks, power look this time. Sims the pitch man, got it. 
So with both fullbacks, Sims carries on the option. That Frost is going to pull it out. Left side wide open, but short of the end zone. That pass was a little bit high that time. McAvicka is right behind Frost. Green up over the top. Touchdown, Nebraska. possessions against coach Slocum and the Aggies this is the third touchdown they've also kicked three field goals they've scored every time they have touched the ball here Chris Brown adds the extra point so Amon Green and the Huskers are holding up their end of the bargain but remember down the road no one but no one will become a bigger fan of Ryan Leaf of Washington State than the Huskers. We'll be right back. And they hope to move on down to the Orange Bowl. Dante Hall will take a knee and it'll come out on the 20 yard line. Brandon Stewart on a play fake. First down, not much time, but he completes it. And he hit his tight end, Derek Spiller. He believes that Purdue might wind up with a shot to come to the bowl game this year, and that would be exciting to have him down here. Joe Taylor's done a great job with that team. The fullback, Tiki Hardiman, up the middle, he is 30 to 3. Gives you an idea of how the Cornhuskers are dominating. Brandon Stewart and a drop off the screen underneath. It was so well defended against Dante. Stewart on a blitz. Comple oh, my! The defender had slipped on the play, and Baumgartner let it get away. Third down and nine. Stewart runs hard to the right. And everybody's juggling the ball, aren't they? The Wiggins, Brown, and Newcomb back deep. And Brown makes the fair catch. More than 50% of the votes are in. It's over. Peyton Manning has won it. What's in the second? Here comes Frost to the wide side. Oh, a bad pitch on the ground. The Green's got it at the 19-yard line. Daylight for a moment, Dan. Shotgun. See if the offensive line holds up. They have all day, and they're going to run the quarterback right out of the shotgun. Scott Frost. Beautifully conceived play. I'd love to see how relaxed he is. It's uh, Frost. Got a man wide open. It's Davison. Got him. Davison wide open. 35 30 foot race now. Going to get tackled out of bounds at the 17 yard line. Lucan was a slot down to the top of the screen. Run to the short side. They use that play so often. Mine green. So hustling. Matt Davison with a dive. And here's Frost cuts back down at the one yard line. And uh, some guy named Woodson might uh, get a few himself. We already said Woodson was finishing second. Frost coming down the line. In for the Nebraska touchdown. And maybe they ought to invite that kid. He certainly would be one of our candidates. Chris Brown adds the extra point. But with Frost, and you go back to the Missouri game, remember, on the drive for the tying touchdown, he marched that team 65 yards without a timeout. What a game Woodson had against uh, Ohio State. And uh, he'll face Ryan Leaf in the Rose Bowl. Final 30 seconds. Look at that heat. Sacked at the 10 yard line. The Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship. A route so far. 37 to 3, Nebraska. John Saunders and Todd Blackledge are coming up. So let's send you to the big fella now. As you can imagine, the numbers here, not just the score, they're all in favor. There's a penalty. And they open up with two tight ends, two wideouts, and this one running back, Amon Green, who has wrestled down at Newcomb. 
is Nebraska's slot receiver, the freshman toward the top of your screen, number 12. And they optioned the short side of the field. Lamont Green, fumble! Aggies still loose. Rebobbled. Aggies signal that they've got it. They certainly had it the first time. Let's see if they have got it again. They dash off the field. The officials, yep, the Aggies come up with that football. Sir Parker's number eight, but the offensive line has got a hole out in Nebraska. Play fake. Stewart on a throwback, deflected, almost intercepted. On second and ten. Stewart in running for his life and throws incomplete. Third down and ten. From the pocket, deep and over through the wide receiver, Chris Taylor. This game gives you an idea of just how good Corby Jones is up at Missouri with the job that they turned in on a home game. High punt. They're going to bluff this fair catch and let it bounce. Great punt. Out of bounds inside the five yard line for Leckler. Scott Frost and the Huskers coming out from inside the five. Nothing doing on Vermont Green. That's Davison in motion to the short side. They're going to play fake this one and they're going to throw it out of the end zone. Over through the tight end at the 20 yard line. Third down at 11. Here's third and 11. Quarterback draw and Frost way short. So Nebraska punting. He's standing in front of it. Left footed punt. Oh, going to give Texas A&M good field position. Inside the 40 and free. 35, 30. Puts a shake and make move on the punter. Down at the 17 yard line. Inside the Huskers 20 yard line. Parker is his lone running back. Wide open. He hit number 89, Danny Campbell, the other tight end, who's out of bounds. <laughs> Second down. And a four. This is Hardiman. Let's see who makes the play here. Spiller comes up, but it's incomplete. The ball was loose over his shoulder on the ground. Disappointing result for Spiller and the Aggies. So it is fourth down. And Stewart going out, and McCown is going to throw it. Incomplete. So trickery on the part of the Aggies fails. They line up the backup quarterback and the shotgun for the Huskers. First down for Scott Frost. I've got a question about that play. Amon Green powers the 16 now. But McFarland might have caught it anyway. Here's the toss to Amon. He is stacked up and keeps on plowing. Not beyond the 20 yard line. Needing inches. Easily. Heels in that fourth spot in the polls. And here on first down, Frost with the option to the wide side. He is the master of that pitch, isn't he? Roman Green. Record setting season. Like a vicar. Pounds ahead. And this is. And on third down, Frost fires. Davison drops it. Going to put a game here, Dan, and let's see if Hall can get off another good return. High spiral. And he's forced to make the third catch. Of course, they will be bringing you the SEC title game out of Atlanta later tonight between Tennessee and Auburn. Terry Bowden trying to do his daddy, Bobby Bowden, a huge favor in that one. Downfield, long, overthrown, intercepted. Picked off at the 38 yard line by the deep man, the rover back. Mike Brown was back there. A lot of other coaches around the Big 12, though, are not that surprised. Short side and Shevin Wiggins, the wingback. And when I asked him about it yesterday, he said there was no question that the team was not healthy a year ago. For whatever the reasons are, they are more effective and lethal on a carpet like this. The cuts are better. Frost keeps it hammered down at the 22 yard line. Now, if he said it's much like being in Penn State's position of a couple of years ago, they went unbeaten out the road, all played your ducks. And uh, won that game, but no chance to win the title. Deflected pass and incomplete. And so style points. It's like diving. <laughs> for, 
third down and seven now. To the right, penalty flag is thrown, diving, attempted. Dead ball, false start on the offense. Still third down. Blowout either way in the Army Navy game. Navy was a heavy favorite though this year. Incomplete, Newcomb the intended receiver that time. And what a talent. Here's Chris Brown to attempt the 44 yard field goal. Nailed it. Oh, she's got a strong leg. On top of everything else, Nebraska with a powerful kicking game. Woodson can't cover them all. That's right. And remember, Michigan did not play Purdue, I don't believe, this year. So they did not look at a wide open passing attack like they're going to face out in Pasadena. I'm telling you, so there's some kind of football. Now Parker is the running back. He'll get the toss from Stewart. That's a nice block. And Dove for the uh, first down marker. Corby Jones of what he did for Missouri on that side of the game. Absolutely. Uh, led the uh, Tigers. Got a first down with a shotgun. That's their only first down on a third down in this game for the Aggies. That's how good the Nebraska defense has been, even without Jason Peter. Much of the game. He started to play, but was forced out by an injury. Parker slashes through. Breaks a tackle. And it's amazing, isn't it? When you go in there and watch him, Jack. We have through the years. Side handoff out of the uh, shotgun to Sir Parker. Great facility up there in Lincoln. Of course, they were one of the originators of the great weight room and weight training through the years. Still fires complete to Bumgardner. Who hung on. Here's third down and three. And Wistrom said he was pulled across. Good ball. False start on the offense. Still third down. Third down and eight. Short of the first down. Been a pretty good season for the Aggies. It's too bad it's coming to such an unfortunate ending. But it appears to be right now anyway. So here's fourth down and wide open. They put it. There's a penalty flag down on the play. There's another one. We have two dead ball fouls against the offense. False start, then a dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct. We'll penalize five and then 15. Oh, what a great punt. Oh, did he turn that one loose? Oh, Newcomb just lets it go on into the end zone. Now his offensive teammates will take it on over. Using the fullback, Makavica. Maybe he's trying to deliver a message to them today. There he is. Out to the 27-yard line. Like Coach says, we'll make that decision when we have to. And Frost made the decision for a first down. Karen, you can pencil him in down there. Right? Well, you know, Brent, uh, when you look at, here's that pass I was telling you about, huh? Good, you know he had a wide receiver. Kavika was... Uh, with the illegal block there has really set the tone for his year. Inside. Shuffle pass off to Green. Cross going to put it up. Fullback and the pick up battles for that first down. What great effort. Powers across midfield. Fumble. Put it down. Trying to get a few more yards. From the shotgun, Brandon Stewart. Sets the screen. Dante dances to the 45-yard line. Stewart fires high and complete. No yes, he is. He's going to fire it up high. Somebody running under it. If they don't go for it, it's a pass incomplete on fourth down. That's a play they worked on. Even the trick plays are not working for the Aggies today. An ABC Sports presentation of college football will return after this message and a word from our ABC stations.
40 to 3 and trying to make a statement and head down to the Orange Bowl. And they hand off to Green, who battles his way across midfield. I got folks too. Win that SEC championship and then have a shot at the national title. Frost gonna pull it back out. One hopper for Brown and it. A pity that we'll never find out. Second down and ten. Frost on the option. Here comes Amon. Barges ahead for the first down. That was a powerful run. First and ten. Now Amon picking his way behind Anderson, and then he slams to the 31-yard line. It's to a Tennessee or a Florida State or somebody like that. It certainly doesn't happen often. Uh, that's right. Second down. Frost busting free. First down for the Huskers. Well, I kind of like Nebraska against anybody, and I would love to see them play against Michigan. Kavicka stopped at the gain of about a yard. Green still in. So Frost behind the gate block breaks free. Reaches for another first down at the 10 yard line. In this Here's a line green slashing to the six yard line of rugby. No equipment. And here's Frost running that option. There's that pitch to a mom bottle touchdown, Nebraska. Doing it every which way here today. There'll be no miracle comeback by the Southern Division in this year's championship game. And the Nebraska fans are tossing oranges out on the field. yards out next up pro player stadium bring on Tennessee or Florida State or anybody else the Huskers will be there still unbeaten by Dr. Pepper short kickoff this time we feel that about the 12 yard line and Taylor left return by the looks of this score we did pretty good that day first down and 10 so we're going to set the screen and almost picked off in the middle 10 58. Too hot. We'll bring a special. That's on the network tomorrow night. 66 of his Ball. players today. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Still third down. Trailing 47 to 3. That was Michael Williams. That was being carted off. Escapes, fires high, almost picked off on the deflection. in the pocket. Fires for a first down. He put the ball in Chris Cole's hand. That was the kickoff class. He played in New Jersey. And all the other games were played up in Nebraska in the series. This is the first time they've met down here. In Talk about what Brian put those players through. Second down at 10. On the blitz. Down he goes at the 36-yard line. His black shirt's doing well. Third down at 17 and still stopping and snorting and coming for more. Stewart does get it off. Diving reception, but short of a first down. On the sideline. Another great catch. Out of bounds. Whispering returns. He's down at the right rush in. Coming around the tackle. The handoff, and there he is making the stop at the 17-yard line. Second down and eight. That was Whispering broken. Dead ball, false start on the offense. Still second down. Why well, not some fun? Just watch 98 get off the ball. And they blitz from outside him. Passes underneath the Dante Hall slips a tackle. 15 yard line and out of bounds inside the 15. And he gives a couple speed rushes and he jumps outside. Then just do a quick counter. You can club him. You can grab his jersey throw. Third and three touchdown Aggies. Wistrom is double teamed. 
He is nailed at the 20-yard line. Spiller caught the pass for the touchdown. But it was Mark Broyles who sealed up Wistrom. Point for two. Stewart has to hurry. He's hit on the release, and it is incomplete. The high bounce picked up. Aggies have got it. Net win. Ball near midfield. Let's see if they can find Spiller again. They got him in the slot. Fires to the outside, man. Complete, and suddenly, first down and ten. Stewart in the middle fires for Spiller. First down. Stewart in trouble. Going down in a heap at the 35 yard line. Joe Walker. What he will go to. You get on camera. Isn't that something? Stewart. Fires complete. So just gone out of bounds. That he kept battling for that first down. Bumgarner's been on fire ever since he dropped that one pass. Bring him down. On first down, Sir Parker. Cuts inside to the. Stewart. Third and six. Complete the receiver cut the other way. Spillers off the line to the left. Middle incomplete. Got Frost. We'll see if he can bring down his clock a little bit for the Huskers. Put it into Amon Green's hands. And he, he didn't have that prototype on him, but he could throw. He could throw uh, very, very well. Frost puts it into Amon Green's hands out of bounds. Make sure the young guys. Uh, Follow the Nebraska way, and it's been a very enjoyable year as far as Tom Osborne is concerned. First down. I think Wiggins should have selected uh, for our national soccer team over the French. Where we're going. Fumble! <laughs> a hot potato down there, folks. Nobody wanted it, and finally the Aggies come up with it. His numbers. He'll get a chance now to put it up against this Husker defense from the shotgun. Low and incomplete. Second down and ten. Caught at the 25-yard line. Chris Cole. Third down and three, and a little confusion there. They'll get it straight now. Strong run by Hardeman. In that defensive backfield. McCown fires. Dropped at the uh, two yard line. So no flag. Third down for McCown. Deflected at the goal line. Incomplete by Finley. Clint Finley. Your child. On New Jersey, and the rest of That's where we're doing. Fourth down now for the Aggies. The town fire diving catch in the end zone. Touchdown, AM. A penalty flag. Holding against the Aggies. It's coming back. So hold on, everybody. She's fourth down on the 25 yard line. Double team Wistrom dives through again and pressure from the other side. This time they get 84. Mike Rucker. Boulder, Colorado. They go with the Cornhuskers wherever they go. Sims checks into the game. To the 37 yard line. Can jump him. Frankie London checks in as the Cornhusker quarterback. And Corell Buckhalter is the running back. Fumble by the fullback. And it's picked up by the Aggies. Touchdown, Texas AM. Jason Glenn, a freshman linebacker, scoops up the fumble and dashes into the end zone. 
as we watch the two point conversion here for the Aggies. Picked off and knocked down. Wistrom was over there on the corner. Nothing doing. With Kyle Bryant. Let's see if he can make another beautiful onside kick. This one short of the 10 yard. Picked up by Brown on the run, man. And he took it on the fly, didn't he? Finds an alley to the 13 yard line with 324. You want to see the start of the Tennessee Auburn game. Straight ahead, McGate. Could be Tennessee, which would move Florida State three up for the Nokia Sugar Bowl, where they could be taking out Ohio State if that happens. Stopped at the five yard line, Jay Sims. Frost watching and hoping that his teammates can put six more up on the board. Again. Here's the third down for the Huskers. London gonna keep that into the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. They put the capper on the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship. A year ago, heartbreak. Fourth down and inches, the pass by James Brown to the tight end. Denied a chance for a national championship. And it is good, which means our score, Nebraska 54, Texas A&M 15. So Nebraska, the champions in the Big 12. In about a minute, they're headed to the Orange Bowl. We'll keep you up to date on the score, but the SEC championship 